So there's hopefully another way across. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. I guess opening, uh, raising you though. Right, it's not set up for that anymore, so I can't raise that anymore. That guy's got four aces. Say Ducky Store? Ducky, Ducky Strike? Is that the name of the beer? FM. I feel like I should write that down. Even though, like, could just indicate, you know, like being a station or something, but part of me wonders if, like, it matters. A bad discard pile. What if it's three six four two FM or something like that? That's not a that's not within the normal FM rate range though, is it? More weird numbers to potentially write down and highlight. And then when I see a chance to actually try using them, we'll see if any of them were ever right, I guess. No, you also sink. So whatever happens here, I'm gonna get stuck. Great. And this place is... Really concerned about the number of one-way doors around here. Um, I'm gonna say structural problem. It's gargantuan cave-in. You don't even work. Just take it off then and use it over there so I don't get trapped here and die. I guess I'm trapped anyway though, because I can't get past that one-way gate. Hi. The top part count too? Nope. Yeah, I'd, I had a feeling I wasn't done with this chapter, but uh, I had kind of escaped it. That's fine. We'll just have to get used to this being a somewhat non-linear playthrough where I l reload saves and go back, then we cut forward to where we left off, and stuff like that. Because there's this, this it's a simultaneously has a bunch of non-linear hidden puzzles, but also has a bunch of point of no returns built into it. So the only real sane way to handle that is just to embrace the, the uh, save scum. Hello. I have five packs of flashlight batteries now. Retire. There's always somebody planning on retiring. Oh, new new B2 code. Oh, 4027. Fascinating. Eric Kleinman. I got some evidence of Xanderberg's disappearance from a liable source. It appears to be true that Jeff Walter really did kidnap Berg. He needed him for some secret project. Mayor Altemeyer either didn't know anything about it or he was lying. But the governor might know something because he supported Walter's secret project before Walter disappeared. We need to get some information out of him. There's also that cop, Max Kohler, who's leading the investigation of Walter's disappearance. He might actually be one of Walter's henchmen. If that's true, he probably knows where, he, uh, where he's hiding. Hartman. This is the ongoing thing where Hartman's hunting after Walter. I think Kohler might be working with him. A lot going on there. Open every flood door. Oh, you gonna pick one? So I can see the bad area from over here where bad things happened. This door opens regardless. Okay. I don't think I'd use this. It seems all low res and uninteractive. I think it's just a background detail. Structural problem. Can I read that? Let's see. Foundation of Tomorrow. The Bergman Group leads the world in with his innovations and technologies for underground construction. You're probably standing on one of our constructions right now. We're reading this advert. So contact us and join the future today. Bergman. Underground construction. That's... That's like horrifying. 
it's always scary to think. It's like when you see a... Like when you're walking in a city and you see, like, a, a warning that says, like, caution, hollow sidewalk. And you're like, what does that mean? <laughs> Excuse me? I didn't know I had to worry about that, but it was... Please explain. We like to imagine that we're just lit walking around on a flat floor, and that floor is just a floor. And there's no Trixies, but there are some super Trixies. So does this mean I can just open up my path back? No. Need to figure out how to make it not think it's flooded, apparently. Which I do want to do, because I want a, a way back. Oh, you don't open either, huh? Not gonna do me any favors today. Ah. Are they called D something? D4. D5. Those are the floodgates. Does that mean that I can make it open from here? Oh yeah, I don't even have to hand crank. And that convenient. Okay, kind of have to hand crank. Uh, that's one way to get back. Then I'm just stuck here, so I have to do. Oh, so if I want to get back, I have to do it the hard way again by or by reloading the save. Well, I found those keys over here. While I'm over here, I might as well go back through the level and see if there's any more doors to be found throughout the level that I've never been able to open yet and see if the keys open that and if not I can reload my save to get back uh, on the other side again and go back to exploring over there ow so the unfortunate thing is that when you open a door that way it doesn't stay open it uh, tries to close again or maybe just that one does because some doors stick and some sort some doors don't maybe that's the issue but that seems to be the solution if I want to open up various doors that I haven't been able to open yet. That one doesn't have a knob. That's the long hallway. This is the exit back out to here. So actually, if I want to hop over there, I don't really need to even use a save. I can just do the same do trick again, like by clicking on... You. Yep. So I can just climb up that while it's going up. So no need to reload. But was there another s a door back here? And also, can I set the system to open up doors back here? I'll have to check their numbers. Yeah, the way box. That's 220. If there is a way to open that, it's not via this exact system necessarily. One's called one. This is a very that's a different kind of door entirely, though. Yeah, that's from the door controls in here, which it seems like it just doesn't open. What is this key for? That's the beginning of the level. I don't think I found an, another locked door. So maybe when I go past D4 or something, I'll find a new locked door to use it on. I'm curious how many weird doors might be hidden that way. Or locks. Keys, I mean. That was a weird find, just finding a key like that. Like, under a pallet. I only found it because it glows when you point at it, because it was like behind the pallet, and like, completely unseeable. I'm amused by the the idea that like this could be like a really chill day where like you just go well not that chill because the the buildings try to kill you essentially, but uh, you could essentially get through this game just like fixing these places up and getting through them and not uncover any of the conspiracy stuff potentially. Just funny. Oh, didn't take any hit that time. 
I would be very appreciative if you could just stay open. It'd be very nice of you. That's D3 and D2. I don't need to open those ones. It really just boils down to the one at the end of the hallway here. There's D4? Four. Let's check down here first. Oh, right. Source ladders. They feel so weird. Bergman Group's shady downfall raises new questions. The bankruptcy of the Swiss-based underground construction specialist has taken yet another strange turn with accusations of substandard working conditions and work quality. Stahlberg's fresh water tunnel project halted. Who will take care of the tunnels in the future? The sudden bankruptcy of the Swiss-based tunnel boring specialist Bergman Group less than a week ago is getting more shady by the minute. The latest scandal surrounding the company unfolded as two workers of the Stahlberg Freshwater Tunnel Project opened up about the interior working conditions on the project site. The bedrock on the work site is weak, and the support for the, uh, support work for the project was sub uh, was substandard. We were in constant danger of being crushed by stray boulders, says Bergman Group worker who didn't want his name published. Accusations of poor working conditions and rushed preparation work are yet another turn of events in this Stahlberg's biggest closure since the Second World uh, World War. The workers also said they were pressured into staying quiet about the problems. Bergman Group was founded in the late 1800s by Edward Kleinman as Kleinman Bauhausführung. Bauhausführung. Not used to sing that many vowels in a row. In St. Gallen, Switzerland. It was an ordinary construction company, but they soon expanded into the nether and ultimately became one of Europe's lead leading specialists in tunnel boring and underground construction. During the interwar period, Bergman Group completed a series of defensive bunkers for the Swiss government as well as the longest railroad tunnel in history through the Alps. After the Second World War, the company was taken over by Edward's son, Eric Kleinman, who soon teamed up with an innovative scientist, Xander Berg. The company changed its name and started to invest heavily on R&D. One of the biggest innovations was a textile reinforced concrete, which was mix a mix of steel and titanium. This innovation reinforced Bergman Group's status as the underground construction leader. In 1977, Xander Berg disappeared without a trace with all of his research. Just weeks before his disappearance, he had made reports about a new in innovation that was in, the w in his own words would have changed the building world forever. With the absence of Berg, the company had nothing to show for its huge R&D efforts. At the same time, the company ran into problems with big public projects in West Germany. Shareholders lost their faith in Kleinman in early 1979 and forced him to sell the company to industrial investor Jeff Walter. During his command, Bergman Group sta uh, started construction of Stahlberg's new freshwater tunnel system. The contract also included a maintenance plan for the next 25 years. Less than uh, less than a year after the construction started, the company filed for bankruptcy. What will happen to the construction work of the tunnels is still unknown. The tunnel project won't be cancelled, assures Adolf Altmaier, mayor of Stahlberg. So, um, the question here seems to be that uh, whether or not Jeff Walter had anything to do with Xander Berg's disappearance. Interesting. Funny to be photographing news articles that are like public access stuff. It's so serene and calm when it's not trying to murder me with its ceiling, which is an unfortunate twist. Get back to the D4 topic. Stop reminding me of the let's play I had to cancel because the freaking recording didn't work. 
E4 keeps coming up, and I'm not happy about it. Please don't drop. No. Stop it. Wait, is this a shortcut to the elevator of the surface? Or something? Or just an alternate way into this area? Huh. <laughs> this door not opening means I also have to suffer the pain. Okay. So I... I might have found everything this time? Oh, I actually walked through it without having to duck. I think I found everything this time. By going across that way and getting checking out the other side this time. Huh. Ultimately still have to play this level though, no matter what it looks like. So now we know why there was a door on the left. Besides the fact that it's just the layout of the an actual building. Okay. I assume the same crisis is going to play out the same way, so let's just get through it again. And so we are returned to the surface once again. Welcome back, everybody. So not a major change, necessarily. I found one pair of keys and a few notes here and there that give us a few hints about some background details, but I didn't... I don't think I ended up with a massively divergent like, impact on the environment this time around. Like, like as opposed to like last time when I seemed to go back and fix the dam. Actually, no, I fixed the dam... I fixed the dam before I left it the first time, because I was already talking about it. Oh well. I, I think I did everything here. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm like squinting at it to see if it's numbers or something, but I think it's just... Signs of bar eating out through cement. Oh. Which is worth photographing. Question is, what does... <laughs> What gets opened by the keys I found? Because I found weird keys. And they haven't come up yet, as far as I can tell. That... is very hard to read. Is that graffiti, or like, cr or is it like scratched into the wall? Aloic... Uh... That's, like, unreadable. Can I jump over this fence? Nope. How about this fence? Nope. I, mean, I thought the wall- I thought the brick looked a little bad, but it's really just something is Probably a mold or a f or a moss is just sort of growing through the grout. Not really significant. Probably. Blue pipe. Pump A3 and A4. Need myself a handle. Who keeps taking all the handles? For real. It wouldn't let me take any of the ones down here, would it? There was like a pile of them, and they're still here, aren't they? Yeah. Dude, pick them up. They're useful. What, do they not fit these ones because they're blue? Is that a rule in this game? Because this is a pipe. The, the symbol's blue. Does that mean I can't use the yellow ones? Is that actually a thing? Oh, someone prop this door open. Makes it feel like one of those mouse traps or something. Oh. Ah, you can walk up here. And this pipe works, apparently. Or not. Can't use it. You can also hear flowing though, so I guess it's already on, which is probably what I want. Come on, nail it. Nail it. He nope. I believe in you. You can do this. We all believe in you. Okay. I don't believe in you anymore. I'm sorry. But you have failed me for the last time. 
These flowers are so tall that I can't think of anything besides Secret of the Ooze. That seems wrong. No? The way that the bricks just stop all of a sudden? Seems like it'd be a structural problem. Silhouette? Is that Tyler Durden? Pink card. You're not getting in here without a pink card. And someone's watching you, I bet. I bet they are. Let me in or the other one gets it. Hey, you. Hey, you. That's what I thought. It's not hiding down there. They didn't even have the respect to take their, uh, graffiti away. They just left it here. I mean, they, uh, not graffiti, their, uh, spray cans they used for the graffiti. They just left the, the cans behind. Oh, pink card. Wasn't really expecting to just find that. Alright. Let's keep, let's keep poking around first. Okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the rules anymore, to be honest. I was thinking maybe cosmetic slash grading slash safety stuff doesn't matter as much, and all that matters is, like, documents and structural stuff, but this is just a piece of chain link fence. This is, like, identically or even less important, I would say, than, uh, a floor grading being missing and wood pla- and, like, wood planks being put over it. So really, I should just point out anything that I vaguely think might be, and we'll just have the game, see what the game decides it is. I I'm not... Either I don't see their definition, or their definition is not as, as consistent, maybe. Well, let's just board it over. How well can somebody board over with wooden planks a metal door, I wonder? Like, do you just hammer it in? What are you hammering into to board you with the planks? Did you tie the wooden planks to the wall with like zip ties or something? Like, or did you actually hammer through the uh, the metal? So now I'm getting a new question, which was, which is, was I supposed to find the pink card? Oh, I'm curious, what's in this door over here? Is this the mandatory door forward, or what's going on? Because this is the obvious door, but then I started finding a whole bunch of stuff over here, and not really sure if it counts as, like, side content, or if I actually have to go that way, ultimately. Don't have the key to that. Oh. So getting the pink card is super not a big deal, apparently. Like, oh, look at this, this, look at this corner I found this stuff in. Nope. It's just around. Anything obviously broken in here? Nah, pretty vanilla room. That glass broken back there? I don't think that matters. They seem to just be bad at cement, essentially. Hello. They put a yep. Ah, sounds. It's me. I'm somewhere near the Bergman towns. I barely got out there before the ceiling caved in. Are you serious? I'm always serious. Now I'm at this control center of sorts. What do I do? There should be a way to enter another part of the tunnels from there. I'm not very comfortable sending you down there again, but it's invaluable that we know the full extent of the damage. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Mark. There are just constant references to elevators bad. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Oh, the document doesn't count. Only one pack of batteries left. Really? For that low? I'm really feeling bummed out about how I kind of wasted the first battery I got at the beginning of the game, because I didn't realize I was trying to test whether or not 
just having the camera out all the time uses up your batteries and stuff like that. I didn't really know the mechanic yet. And I'm gonna pay for that for the rest of the game, possibly. By uh, maybe always being one battery less than I should have. A lot of options here. Does this open too? It does open too. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep this whole place straight. Oh, leaking. No, it doesn't count. I thought leaks counted. Okay. Came in through there. This room has these things on it, but you can't turn them all. Interesting how this is yellow on yellow, but this is blue on red. Does that mean something? It might just be color-coded for these diagrams here. There's the yellow one, and the blue one next to it, it looks like. There's a... There's Pinefell Water Plant Facility Plan. We have pool room, pump room, laboratory, storage, gen room, pump room, chlorination. Chlorine tanks outside. Don't use the elevator. Everything always says don't use the elevator. Seems like every elevator is broken everywhere. Which is alarming at some point, like... But, I mean... That's kind of just the condition of everything. We're exploring these broken down, busted ass places. But at some point, our character should really be fearing these things, because they are miserable. So these things turn. Both of them do. So I can use the cranks that are on these blue pipes. Yep. Don't fall over and make your brain melt in white. Electricity? That makes more sense. Electrical hazard. That's like a... Is that, the, is that the universe symbol for electrification? Is that they just have, like, a lightning bolt going through someone's torso? Is that really... I genuinely, I'm actually not sure. I'm used to seeing it. This is actually on. Seems like I should rotate pole one. Oh! Weird, it's lit up, but I can't actually use it. I've got a crank if I want it. Do I photograph this guy? Nope. Blue crank there, but I can't... Yep. I've got one of these. Just need to figure out where, to, where it's supposed to go. Is one of these... These... Okay, so those are the ones that are red. So the one with the accent must be the one on the far end. Yep. That should be the exact one, right? Still says the same thing. Oh. Did I just turn on A1? I might have. So I was, I was misjudging what room I'm in on that diagram. Yep, so I'm at the A1, A2, A3, A4 room. I just turned those on. The chlorination needs to be fixed, but also the red pipes back at their origin point need to be fixed. Which might be that way? Red, blue. So I need to go that way and follow the red pipes this way and figure out what's wrong with them in that direction. Doesn't open. There's a blue crank in there and a diagram. Can't photograph it from here. Not diagram. Notes. Is this where I was before? Yep, so now I'm back at the first door here. So that was not uh, as secluded and secretive and interesting as I originally guessed it might be. Let's keep you where I can find you, but also not where floor traffic is so I don't kick you around. I'll come back for that when I find a spot for it. But I don't want to carry it around because it's a physics object and I'd really hate to like drop it in a crack somewhere. This place generally seems cleaner and more well kept than the last two locations I toured. Everything's bright, shiny, there's leaks every now- there's like some pools of water here and there, but it's a water place, so... 
figure that's vaguely normal. Another blue crank. I'm gonna have to come up with a collections location for these things. Gonna put it somewhere where I'll notice it walking around. Another document. I didn't even check the other one yet. Interesting. Marco, my friends at this lab finally gave me the results of your sample. The large amount of, of metal in the water go past the limits of drinking water by more than tenfold. Bacteria levels are also well above standards. I'm guessing it has something to do with the new mine. Don't tell anyone or we'll lose our jobs. You write very large. Wait, this is just out in the... You're gonna tell me a piece of paper unattended is just hanging out on a chair open to the elements and the wind and the rain how recently was it put there everything's supposed to be long abandoned right 